was stopped by the I have to have a look at the cross. Yeah, I wasn't like the worker it and had to sort of style myself for several days. I stopped. I had the opportunity to go back to the home. And it was a this was a big eruption. I could see it several days. Lots of smoke and fire and yeah, everything. Uh, today, PhD candidates, the third cycle in the Bologna process, are thought to hope to carry out research through postgraduate education and systematic teaching. Previously, one also acquired research knowledge and competence by reading academic texts related to one's field or study, by participating in courses offered by in methodology and writing, and by meeting one's academic supervisor in a particular academic discipline. Today, knowledge of research practice and ethics is also a main component in undergraduate and graduate courses, the first and second cycle. In modern doctoral education, young researchers are taught three central skills in all three cycles. One, scientific gathering of relevant knowledge, two, scientific use of relevant knowledge, and three, scientific presentation of research processes and research results. I always want to meet the needs of modern research education. Which actors are most suitable, and in which arenas should this education take place? In my opinion, it would be more or less impossible to achieve an optimized research education in all three cycles without access to and use of an academic library in close cooperation with librarians and the use of tools such as open access. In connection, I would like to emphasize five points that might contribute to the best possible research education in all three cycles. One, the faculty, the scientific communities and individual researchers must cooperate closely with the academic library, uh, libraries and my staff. Two, librarians must participate actively in research education through courses by making archives accessible and by providing different types of supervision. Three, specialized library and archive tools such as open uh, access must be improved and further developed. Four, the academic libraries must develop by digital offers such as computer hardware and software and electronic competence related to service, usage, updating and development. And five, the academic libraries must become research libraries with customized physical facilities such as reading rooms, workspaces and cafes in which conversation and discussions of the special or academic nature may take place. In this paper, the term research education has a fairly wide scope. It primarily refers to structured research education at the doctoral level, but also covers more or less indirect nature of research education offered in undergraduate and graduate courses, the first and the second cycle. At the first two levels, research education is not formal as in the doctoral level. The students on these two levels do, however, meet some of the challenges faced by PhD candidates and they <coughs> attend introductory courses, access uh, archives and sources, use library facilities and services, and write term uh, uh, papers. The extent of this challenge faced by the PhD students is however greater uh, and the level is more advanced, both with regard to formal education and dissertation. If students are to benefit the most from academic libraries, role and their function as uh, guardians of knowledge, and to have the best possibilities access to uh, sources in their possession, it is imperative that information and knowledge about the library's role with regard to information or research be disseminated by both the faculty administration, represented by the department uh, administration, and the faculty academic administration, represented by the academic staff and supervisors, and the various departments through teaching and supervision. The faculty administration must organize information meetings and courses, and must provide the opportunity to access sources of knowledge deposited in and provided by the academic libraries. This practice must be institutionalized by allocating a certain number of hours to uh, the teaching information literacy and teaching, uh, or which should be mentioned in the teaching plan. 
uh, is often competition uh, with regard uh, to the exact number of hours allocated to the teaching. The teaching of information literacy should, however, be prioritized as the quality of research depends on it to a great extent. One of the most important tasks of the university is precisely to carry out research of the best possible quality. At the University of Bergen, library staff attends the orientation meetings at the beginning of each term, an arrangement which has proved most satisfactory. During the presentation, students are provided a general knowledge about the academic library and sources available. The meeting pro provides a platform from which further contact with students can be developed. The library also organizes practical courses and how to access the sources available. For instance, on how to navigate and search for information databases, and how to find books on shelves, and how to order books not openly uh, available. In addition, the library also offers courses uh, which teach, for instance, uh, citation techniques for the use of sources and different reference systems. Courses related to the research ethics and how one can and should avoid plagiarism of others' research results and research presentation are also offered. Such arrangement must be uh, planned in close cooperation with faculty administration and leadership so that these offers appear as compulsory units on the, type, the timetable and become permanent part of the information uh, of the district and in all three cycles. A greater channel than that of the administrative responsibility related to ICT in cooperation with the faculty library is the participation of the academic communities and individual teachers' supervision. Uh, particularly in relation to the PhD <coughs> students, uh, it is important to have a close collaboration with, with, uh, between academic departments and libraries. In Scandinavia, it has conducted a study on PhD students' information management and library services. A presentation of the survey and its results are available on the report uh, PhD candidates and local research processes, as uh, uh, all the people have talked about in this uh, session. Uh, uh, the library's contribution. Uh, the study is conducted by the Bergen University College uh, Library, Norwegian School of Economics Library, University of Bergen Library, University of Russell Library, and the University of Oldo in Denmark Library. The study was conducted as part of the project information management uh, for knowledge creation. The results are obtained through literature review and focus group uh, interviews. The literature study shows differences in information behavior and literary preferences. Problems and research issues affect the practice most. The students give priority uh, to digital resources available in relation to print and literature. Students do not have sufficient mastery in the handling, collection, and assessment of information, and students express a strong desire for independent uh, learning. The interviews in the focus group show that students see it very important to contribute with original research. They have strong time pressure and expect effective methods to identify the literature. They are particularly uncertain about the procedures for obtaining an overview of relevant disciplines in the literature. The supervisors feel the students' competence in the use of sources such as inadequate. Publication is uh, perceived differently from being an essential part of career building to be a regular part of a learning process. A formal quality criterion to the impact factor does not seem to be uh, essential at all. Students call for support from the library in many areas and see this support as helpful guidance. On this basis, it is uh, formulated requirements for libraries eight uh, such uh, uh, requirements. The first is um, awareness of the characteristics of education systems. Two, requirements for the understanding of literature as a complex process. Three, requirements for the understanding of the candidate's development of identity and competence. Four, requirements for the understanding of the candidate's development of strategies and uh, assessments. Five, Requirements for the understanding of the interdisciplinary and discipline uh, differences. 
six requirements for the library's reflection on identity and role. Seven, trying to understand the ethical issues as an integral part of disciplines. And the last eight, requirements for language and accessibility. As a scientific professional, I welcome this study. This is a very useful study. The results match very well my own experiences as a supervisor and with feedback from my colleagues. There will be an advantage if the report is made available to all supervisors. The report should form the basis not only for the development of libraries in support of these guidance and teaching modules, which uh, is the main purpose of the uh, report, but also for a closer cooperation between libraries and academic uh, environments. According to the Berlin Declaration of Open Access to Knowledge, in the sciences and humanities, open access contribution, contributions must, be set, must satisfy two conditions. One, free and irrevocable access to further use uh, of work in any uh, digital medium with proper attribution of authorship. And two, the deposition of the work and all supplementary documents in an online repository using recognized electronic format. Open access can be one of uh, the example of a scholarly uh, communication movement. It has been developed and championed by scholars, for scholars, to increase the impact of future scientific uh, research and create a cost-effective communication system. Librarians also participate in this movement. The goal of open access is to enhance scientific knowledge work by making peer-reviewed research literature open uh, available on the map with the creation of institutional uh, reprint uh, uh, repositories or archives or by creation of online journals that are freely available to the end user. If the academic li uh, library is to become more <coughs> um, uh, information literally uh, accessible to uh, young researchers Practical steps must be taken and efficient technical equipment must be acquired. Today, practical measurements are limited, as is the access to necessary technical software. Firstly, the physical space needed to uh, access uh, for uh, information literacy sources available or through the library is often under uh, uh, dimension. Many libraries currently do not have enough physical space for these activities, mainly as they are not built to meet this. Requirements. These libraries were planned and built, uh, when these uh, libraries were planned and built, such tasks and services was not of great importance. Secondly, technical equipment is usually limited to some computers on premises. The number of computers uh, on premises must increase in order for young researchers to be able to efficiently carry out tasks related to uh, uh, research. Larger physical space and access to more computers are therefore important. In addition, the technical equipment, including hardware and software, must always be operative and must be meet with the technical standard needed to get the most out of the technical facilities. This implies that technical hardware and software must be updated and maintained on a regular basis. The cooperation between uh, information uh, uh, IT department and the library must be closed in order for libraries electronic resources to be available for users. Most of the electronic library resources that are available, available for the students and young researchers would normally be uh, presented through some kind of portal, in addition to making sure uh, the, that open um, access or subscription are presented in an optimal manner. It's also important that the finding and using of these resources are shown and explained in the teaching from the library. This can happen as one-to-one -one explanation or more formalized process for large groups of students. Access to and the use of knowledge for research through cooperation between the faculty uh, leadership, academic staff and academic library staff is crucial for the reach of all goals for more, better and innovative research. It is uh, in this perspective the libraries must become places where it is natural for the students in all three cycles uh, to search for and use knowledge. 
Next to close, Dale, the digital library, manifested as institutional for us to us, and the physical library. The students must have the opportunity to use the libraries as their natural workplace. In addition to lecture halls and uh, traditional reading rooms. In order, for, uh, in order for the library to appear uh, user friendly to students with regard to traditional uh, 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 studies, which concern, most, uh, which concern much more than the order, ordering and gathering of academic literature. The physical surrounding, room organization and solution, workplace, access to sources, must be appropriate and the distance to the academic communities must be short and practical. The students should also feel at home in the libraries as a social space with a canteen, cafe, toilets, uh, etc., which are found in, uh, uh, in the area. In order to bring about these changes in the best possible manner, there must, must be close cooperation between the library, the faculty administration, and the academic staff. One must strive to establish a culture in which students gradually change their work habits and practices by being motivated to spend their time partly in traditional reading room and partly in specialized design workspaces in libraries, equipped with affected and state-of-the-art uh, technology. With the library as a workplace, the effect of access to information through open access will be twofold. One, the students will have uh, access to new cutting-edge research and to, in addition to bring, uh, a, uh, bring able to participate in research by publishing their own written work. Supervisors must encourage students to produce written work which have, after have been examined by supervisors and fellow students, uh, may be available for, uh, in open access. The text production must therefore become as natural as reading and text analysis for more students uh, in the future. The university is in charge of three essential tasks. One, research. Two, education. And three, dissemination of information. The point of departure of these uh, activities in the, the research is the research. A university whose research is weak and neither extensive nor uh, innovative is likely to face great challenges. Research must be top priority. Talented young students must be recruited and suitable research areas must be developed uh, at the universities. Structured research education and research group at the doctoral level are a part of the answer to these uh, challenges. The insight, in, insight into research gain during the first and second cycles are equally important. Society at large will benefit from the fact that students have insight into research processes and research practices in addition to their own practical experiences of research. The increased, the increased focus on research education coincides with the digital, digital revolution in academic libraries and an ever more extensive discussion on the responsibility of our staff. This uh, focus on the digital accessibility, organization and organization of the libraries, and discussion of the changing responsibility of the academic librarians, that might spur closer cooperation between libraries, faculties, and scientific communities with regard to research education. The, li the library must consequently, one, contribute to the improvement of research, research education, and the improvement of researchers, and two, make uh, valuable contributions to education and the third and last, increase the dissemination of information in close cooperation with the faculty and the scientific community. Thank you.